everyone, it is Kim with Blue Mill Home and Garden and today I am planning a work video. I'm just going to be out here in the garden and go with the flow. I usually have a big struggle with staying on task. I was diagnosed a very long time ago with ADHD and so my whole adult life has been just a lot of pressure on me to stay structured, make lists, and I have a hundred reminders on my phone all the time that are going off for even the little things just to help me to stay structured and focused. And some days it's a real struggle. And sometimes I allow myself the time to just go with the flow. And I just say, hey, guess what? It's an ADD day and we're just gonna do whatever comes to mind. And a lot of times when I allow myself to do that, I can be very creative and accomplish so many things. And that's just it. It's a beautiful Saturday. I've got nothing else going on. I'm just gonna get out in the garden and play. And so I wanted to bring you along for some of the things that I'm gonna get taken care of today. I have no agenda. I wish I could tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab some tools and get started. Thank you so much for coming along. And don't get distracted too soon. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, follow me along, and you'll be notified the next time I post a video. All right, guys, I got my little wagon, and I'm ready to get started getting my wagon filled up with my tools that I might need. And first of all, guys, I want to take a moment to apologize for the overexposure. I thought that being a sunny day would be a great day to be out here filming and I have learnt a thing or three due to the outcome of this video and that is not the case. You don't want to film when it's really bright and sunny or you want to get some accessories for your camera which I've done. I've learnt a lot this week so I'm going to apply that soon and here I have all the help showing up to help me in the garden today and the first thing I'm going to do is start a fire. Now that may sound a little odd but trust me I get cold very easily and Michigan has not gotten the memo. It does not know that it is spring. We are still in the 50s during a lot of the days and it's really chilly today I also, I love the smell and the crackle while it's burning. I am a history buff and I like to think about the period when our house was built in 1860 and how they would have lived and they would have had a fire going for sure. I know when you visit the farm museums, they always have fires going outside and that is because they had a lot of chores during the day and that required hot water or uh, if they were making candles, they needed to melt wax or if they were cleaning up and needed to burn brush and whatnot. And sometimes the men would have the fires going also. So if they needed to bend a nail or a piece of metal, that's how they did it. So always a fire going on the farm and it smells wonderful. And the bonus is, is that if I get cold, I can really come out here and get warm and not have to drag dirt into the house and keep the house clean, keep myself warm, and I have the wonderful smell and the crackling fire, so that is all good, and that's what I'm doing, and I need to make a plan now. I'm looking around to see what it is I want to do to get started. Now, like I said, I don't have a big agenda for this project. I just want to be out here in the garden and just do whatever comes to me, relax, be creative, enjoy my time in my garden. I do enjoy it so very much. And so I'm just going to find a place to start and start there. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start with weeding the garden beds, get all the weeds out of all the beds. That's my first step.
My next step is to get into this lemon balm that I had uh, allowed to go crazy over winter. I wanted some winter interest and I figured the bunnies would like it. So I go ahead and left it to grow that way. But now I want to clean it up uh, the same with the chocolate mint that's right here. And um, I, you can see I've already dug some of this out. This was a great big huge pile and I've already dug most of it out. I've shared it with my daughters and my brother-in-law and um, I'm going to be planting some more of it but like I said in my other video that uh, this long bed wasn't here before and now I can't get to that bed so those need to be cleaned out and uh, taken care of. Yep, those fur kids are always right there trying to lend me a hand when I'm in the garden, whether I need it or not. Does anyone else have that? Do your animals show up when you're working in the garden? Let me know. Right here guys, as I'm cleaning out, I see these things that look a lot like mint or um, another herb and everything can self seed so easily so I just snip them and that's how I can tell if it is an herb or a weed because an herb will have an herbal smell, it'll smell minty or like the oregano that's close by. It'll all have that herbal scent to it but weeds do not. That's how I tell which is a weed and which is a flower or an herb. Now this is the bed up by the house and it is the one that I mentioned had the bad soil in it and um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep this soil or get rid of the soil or what I'm going to do yet but I'm cleaning this bed out and this is the bed that has the strawberries that are all on the outside. There's very few strawberries left on the inside. They've all kind of crawled over the edges and escaped. And then that big green bunch in front of me are actually chives that the birds or the chickens must have spread to that that area and, and now they're growing so I'm going to pull them out in a few minutes but um, yeah I'm gonna really redo this entire bed I'm pretty sure Okay guys, I have all the outside edges taken care of. All the beds are weeded and in between. And now I'm gonna take myself back to that corner and we're gonna work back there. Now, I'm gonna pull up those um, lamb's ear that I said had fallen out of the pot and pull out that old Dusty Miller. And I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I really like weeding. I find it so therapeutic and um, I'm really surprised there's this many weeds already this spring, but I really do find it therapeutic to pull weeds and I don't have a problem when it comes to that particular garden chore. It's very stress relieving and it's very 
good to see how you know things are cluttered and messy and then um, with a few twists and pulls then the whole area is clean and you know it kind of relates to our life you know if we concentrate on one thing at a time and pull apart the things that we don't want then uh, life becomes uncluttered and much more easier to manage and look at that in the end result I just love when it's clean. Now I have another tip to share with you. I'm going to be moving some herbs that spread like that lemon balm I showed you and chocolate mint and some apple mint and oregano and mints will take over your garden. They will for sure. So what I'm doing is I have all these extra pots and I saved them and now I'm just cutting out the bottoms. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow me to put the plant in and it's going to help keep those roots maintained and centered in that pot and so the roots have to go down so much farther before the plant can spread it's just going to be able to uh, maintain those herbs that spread so quickly and keep them in line and keep them i see this one's already in the pot but the bottom is cut out and so i'm going to place this one here and i decided for now because all of these herbs need maintenance right now and um, I'm not sure what to do with them and what changes I'm going to be making. I just decided to utilize this long bed for the herb garden for right now. I may end up moving them again but for right now this made the most sense of how I wanted my herbs to be so I just went ahead and uh, started putting the herbs in there. and. I, I like how this looks and I may leave it or I may change it, but for right now, this is the plan. So if you want to try this tip uh, to control your herbs that spread quickly. You want to dig a hole as deep as the pot, but you want the very top of the pot to be kind of level with the soil. You also want to put enough soil in the pot so that your root ball meets with that soil. If you just put a pot in and just a little bit of soil and the herb, it will not meet the soil and the roots will dry out and die. It has to have soil in there to grow, to continue to grow through the pot. So you want to put soil in the pot also so that it meets all the way. Now for the chives, I went up and grabbed those chives from the front bed. Those do not need to be in a pot because they will get bushy and sometimes they end up seeding somewhere else. But they're not that big of a deal. They don't spread so bad that you can't control them. So I'm not going to put them in a pot. I just planted them bare root in there. And um, this is a good example here of this particular herb. I think this is oregano that I'm planting. You see, I filled that pot all the way up with soil because my root ball on that herb was very small. The same with this chocolate mint. And two, you see that this one has stringers running off of it. You want to make sure that you cut them off, and or I'm pushing them on the top right now. I will come back and cut them off because if those go into the soil, that's what happens. Those will go into the soil, and there you'll have it. Well, guys, that is it. I had a full work day. The rest of these herbs I'm actually going to donate to a community garden. Um, these two in front of me, the uh, rest of the chocolate mint and the lemon balm. But I really like how the herb garden turned out. I'm so happy that I have all the weeds under control and uh, a great start. Thanks for watching.